We wanted to see if a choosy bachelor could tell the difference between an artificially intelligent robot we trained with scripts of all his favorite stuff, or a human mate. Will he fall for a real girl? I would love to go on a date with... Or get swept up in the romance of a bot. This is Perfect Person. Hello. Hi. Who are you? I'm Damien. Damien, what are you here to do today? I am here to meet somebody. I just got out of a long-term relationship, so I'm back on the dating scene. Uh, that's exciting. Would you say you have high standards when looking for a partner? Um, I would say I have like decently high standards, yeah. I want somebody that can match my energy. Well, Damien, today we brought in three potential suitors for you. Hello. You're going to ask them a series of questions, and at the end, you'll decide who you want to go on a date with. The only twist is that you can't see them, and we've also masked their voices. So if you'd put on your headphones, please. This is gonna be exciting. Suitor number one, do you like to sext? <laughs> What's your sexting style? Personally, I don't like to sex, but I do like to take pictures. And just, just to look at for myself. I never send them to anybody though. I can respect that. I personally don't like to sext that much either, but I love that you're into like just taking pictures of yourself for yourself. I have a handful of pictures in my camera roll that I take of myself to make myself feel better when I feel like shit, so. Ooh, like what are these pictures like? It's just, just your basic bathroom selfie. Sitter number two. If you were a chain restaurant, which one would you be and why? My favorite chain is called Barlando. Everyone wears flamingo tops. I watched them do magic there on a Tuesday once. You're just speaking my language, suitor number two. I'm a pretty big magic fan. And I do magic tricks. So really? if we went, I would probably try to upstage the, the magician. Suitor number three, let's talk about your past. What was your longest relationship and what happened? Eight months, senior year of high school. Um, it ended because he's, you know, Oh, oh, okay, okay. So I know that happens all the time, but I've never seen it play out like in real life. What's the longest relationship you've ever been in? Uh, about four years. So you'd be okay dating somebody who doesn't have as much dating experience? I don't care about someone's past so much. I'm more so thinking about what we could have and our future. Suitor number one, I need to get back into reading. What's the last book you read and would you recommend it? I also need to get back into reading, so I can't answer that for you. We'll have to figure it out together. That's, I fucking love that energy. <laughs> I know a great bookstore we could go to. Uh, I've been meaning to get back into it, but it's too easy to get distracted by life and Instagram and vodka and all the fun stuff there is. Suitor number two, film is one of my passions. Which actress would play you in the Oscar winning movie of your life? It would definitely be actress, Clara Sprouse. She's not your typical Swedish actress. She's got a bit of everything. Clara Sprouse is the coolest girl alive. Okay, 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 I like that. Do you know who Clara Sprouse is? <laughs> no, I actually don't. Does it intimidate you that one of your dates knows an actress that you don't? I'm more intrigued than intimidated right now because I love to learn. Okay. Will you ask the same question, please, to suitor number three? Suitor number three, which actress would play you in the Oscar-winning movie of your life? Uh, Danny DeVito. He is short, stout, and sweet, and a piece of meat. You know, I can relate to Dan DeVito because I am also short, stout, and a pretty nice piece of meat. <laughs> <laughs> okay, based off of these first handful of questions, are you being drawn to any one of these girls yet? Right now, suitor number two is in the front running. What are you looking for to really wow you in this second half of the game? I, I, I like the answers that kind of dig deeper um, and really give me a sense of like, who you are, but I appreciate the jokes too, so I'm kind of torn right now. Suitor number one, if I gave you my undivided attention from Friday to Sunday, what would we be doing during that time? I think that we should go on a road trip, go see a magic show, go karaoke, drink a little bit, take pictures, make TikToks. That sounds like a great time. I could vibe with all of those things. I get the slight feeling that suitor number one it mentions magic show because she knows that I'm into magic. But I don't know. I don't know yet. Suitor number two, what would we be doing during that time? Shoot some photos with the crew. Check out a new spot or two. There's a new bar with a hologram that I want to go to. Are you spitting rhymes, suitor number two? <laughs> That's, that, sounds, that sounds like a lot of fun. I am also a photographer, and that's one of my big hobbies. 
So I'm, I can vibe with that. Suitor number three. If 24 seven, three days for that weekend. You like magic, I'd make that dick disappear. <laughs> I got the vibe. Do you mean, how do you feel about your dick disappearing? <laughs> Depends on where it disappears to. I feel like suitor number three is at a party right now and I need to catch up. <laughs> suitor number one. If we went to a house party together, which person would you be? The person pouring shots for everyone? The person having a heart-to-heart -heart convo? The person playing beer pong? Explain. So for the Capricorn in me, I would be having the heart-to-heart -heart convo. For the Sagittarius moon, I would be pouring shots for everybody. The Pisces in me would be having a heart-to-heart -heart as well. But the Leo moon in me would also be either pouring the shots or downing the shots. Student number two, same question. I like to be the life of the party. At a party, I like to wear the hot pants and really go after it. I like playing bartender and guessing what kind of drinks people want. Okay, okay, I like that. Having someone to pop off at a party with, that's, that's all you can ever really want, really. I, I love this response. Student number three. Uh, none of the above. I'd be buck-ass naked in the streets with a banner coming out of my cheeks that says my mom's phone number. I've had a handful of those parties in my freshman year. Would you want to date someone like that though? Be honest. I wouldn't want to date somebody like that. I would want to... I would want this person to be my best friend. I wouldn't date someone like that though. Okay, Damien, now I'd like you to give me an honest assessment of each of the suitors before choosing a winner. What did you think of suitor number one? Uh, suitor number one seemed super chill. Uh, sometimes I thought that suitor number one was really trying to tailor their answers towards like what I was giving off, but I like that. I like their answers a lot. How about suitor number two? Suitor number two was that nice balance between like chill vibe, like somebody you could hang with, but also felt very genuine in everything that they said. How about suitor number three? Like she seems super cool. Not somebody that I would like date personally, but somebody that seems like a great time. Damien, do you have a suitor who you'd like to go on a second date with? I think I do. I would love to go on a date with suitor number two. Okay, amazing. Now I'm gonna have everybody step out and we're going to bring in your winning girl. Are you excited to meet her? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay, fantastic. If you can please close your eyes. I'm also terrified, so. All right, Damien, open your eyes. This is your winning suitor. Damien, we actually programmed an AI to say perfect responses that you would be attracted to, so this is your perfect person. Well, shit. <laughs> I feel slightly awkward now. Um, she's kind of cute. <laughs> Um, Damien, what do you think it says about yourself that you chose a robot over a human girl? I don't really know. I'm, I'm kind of in shock right now. <laughs> Can we get suitor number one back in here? 